with the latest. The country still has a long way to go to tackle homelessness if the latest reports anything to go by. Census data shows more than 122,000 had nowhere proper to stay on the night of the survey. That's nearly one in 200 of us. Kate Colvin from Homelessness Australia says Canberra and the states and territories need to take a unified approach to addressing the housing shortage, especially with so many young people affected. One in four people experiencing homelessness are actually under 18. So this is children who are homeless in a wealthy country like Australia. It's understood a deal's been brokered on how the referendum on the Indigenous voice to Parliament will be rolled out. We're hearing an official pamphlet outlining the yes and no arguments as well as a neutral campaign outlining the process and detail on the changes will be rolled out. There will not be equal funding for both campaigns, however. Looking overseas and still no word on the potential arrest of former US President Donald Trump. It's thought he could be in hot water in relation to hush money payments made to porn star Stormy Daniels in 2016. Authorities in both New York and Washington are bracing for possible unrest if charges do come to light. Briefly, New South Wales has a state election this weekend and plenty of people won't be heading along in person. More than 540,000 across the state have already voted by post. That's an increase of 117% compared to the last election there. And Ospost is considering rolling out change rooms by the end of this year. It'll allow people to try on clothes as soon as they receive them via parcel at the post office so they can send them back ASAP if they're not right. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. GWS coach Adam Kingsley believes the tribunal were right to suspend Adelaide's Shane McAdam for three weeks following his hit on giant Jacob Weir in round one. The Crows will challenge the ban tomorrow, but Kingsley says the right call was made. The potential to cause injury is the right adjudication. The league's obviously going through some concussion stuff at the moment that is obviously really serious. And uh, the more we can stamp that injury out of our game, you know, the better off we'll be. They will need to wait till the toss before learning if Aussie Basketball Day Warner features in tonight's nice, deciding one-day clash against India. Yeah. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Miller, Juan and John. This is SAFM Weather. 26 and sunny for the rest of the day across the limestone coast. Tomorrow, 25 and partly cloudy and 20 on Friday. The Science Briefing Podcast is your go-to for the latest research in tech, health, AI space and more. New episodes weekly on the Listener app.